share my screen. Wait until it tells you you'll see okay. yourself pop up. <clears throat> I'm waiting. Okay. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Township Planning Board meeting of July 9th, 2020. <clears throat> Please note that this meeting will be conducted virtually. The public will be given an opportunity to participate remotely through Zoom by entering the link and entering the password seven lowercase v, uppercase v, lowercase j, seven lowercase j. Or um, do we have a phone line open too? Yes. Okay. And there seems to be lots of numbers here. So I'm assuming these are all good? Yes, correct. Okay. So I'm not going to read off all these numbers, but I will give the webinar ID number which is 961-6549-3348 and the password 476043. Uh, also the application documents have been posted uh, for inspection on the township's uh, so, uh, civic clerk um, portal and it does, did occur at least 10 calendar days before the schedule of this evening's meeting. With that said, please join me in a salute to the flag. Oh, sorry, Nate. Okay. Pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, please be advised that this meeting has been duly advertised according to Section 5 of the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, Public Law 1975, otherwise known as Sunshine Law. Notice of the 2020 annual meeting schedule has been provided to the officially designated newspapers, the township clerk, posted on the bulletin board here at the Hillsborough Township Municipal Complex, and posted to the township's website. Additional notice has been provided to communicate that this meeting is being conducted according to the governor's executive orders and pursuant to Public Law 2020, C-11, which allows for meetings to be conducted electronically. Okay, with that, may I have a roll call? Can we, um, Mr. Chairman, can we, Jim, can we check to see if Tina's on I'm line? gonna see if she's there. I'm I mean, sorry? Can you check to see if Tina is on the Yeah, call? I see Tina. Tina, I just, yeah, the right. on the line. Can we make her a yep. panelist, please? Tina? Yep. Yes. Okay, this worked, all right. Roll call, yeah. please. Okay. M Mr. Wagner? Here. Mr. Peason? Yeah, I'm remote. Oh. He's out. Wait, he wait. No, no, no. I'm going to let it. Oh, shh. Everyone's jumping around too fast. Hold on. Okay. Rob, you're on. Okay. Rob, unmute yourself. I think I asked you to unmute. I have to do this whole one at a time, but everyone's. Carla, they're not on the dais. You may want to mute yourself so they're from the floor. Right, but I need to make sure. All right, let me. Can, can you guys hear me? It's Neil Julian. Yeah, but Rob, we didn't uh, hear you if you were saying that you were present. Here, can you hear me? Yep. A piece in here. You 
can continue. Daphne. Yep. Tina, I think we've lost Tina. Tina. Okay. Or did you promote her to panelists? No? Looks like. Oh boy. She's been promoted to panelists. Okay, Tina. Can you hear me? Can yep. Yes. We can. Okay. Okay, Mr. Santa Ramita, you're there, right? Yes. Here. Okay, Mr. Scobo? Yes. Mr. Ciccarelli? Wait, I gotta get him off. He's online. All right. Why? Jim, you gotta unmute everyone that's a that's a member. Yeah, can, can you unmute everybody for me? Because what's happening is I have to allow them to talk and then they jump and then I have to ask them to unmute themselves. So we're gonna mute themselves till they're called. All right, now we do that. Good, Tina. Okay, Mr. Chicarelli. <coughs> Corelli's present. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Emick? Mr. Emick, here. Um, Mr. Lupani? Present. Uh, Mr. Delcor? Here. Mr. Hestag? Here. Uh, Mr. Julian? I heard him before. Yeah, I heard him too. Neil, you're muted. Yeah. Here. Okay. And uh, Chairman Sarati. Okay. Here. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And I believe we do have um, David Maskey is here in the room. Mr. Bernstein, were you a panelist? You're a panelist. I'm here. Excellent. Of course, we've got. Uh, <clears throat> Tina's here, Kaz is videoing, and Jim Horry is also here, manning our substation of sorts. So I believe that takes care of everybody here as part of the roll call. So next up is consideration of meeting minutes. May I have a motion to approve the June 25th, 2020 meeting minutes? Uh, Scobo will approve the minutes. Ken Hestag will second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Are there any comments from the dais? Hearing none, roll call, Mr. please. Oh. Mr. Chairman, the eligible members are Mr. Delacour, Mr. Peason, you, Mr. Julian, Mr. Scobo, Mr. Hestag, Mr. Ciccarelli, and Mr. Emick. Okay, thank you. Roll call, please. Mr. Peason. Yes. Mr. Scobo. Yes. Mr. Ciccarelli. Yes. Mr. Emmett. Yes. Mr. Delcor. Yes. Mr. Hestag. Yes. Mr. Julian. Neil, you're on mute. Do you need me to? Neil, you're still on mute. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's going to have to unmute himself. Yeah, he did. Go ahead, Neil. Yeah, I'm here. Is that a yes for the approving the meeting minutes? Neil? Can you hear us, Neil? You look like you're unmuted, Neil. Neil, it's an up point on the minutes. Can we assume that's an abstain and move on? Okay. Uh, uh, Chairman Sirachi? Yes. 
Okay, next up, uh, we have consideration of a resolution. This is Hillsborough Industrial Park, file number 19-PB-24, dash S backslash MSPV. May I have a motion to approve? So, so moved. Who's that? John Lapani, so moved. Scobo, second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Comments from Can the day? Comments from the dais. Okay, hearing none, go ahead, Eric. The eligible members of the board are everybody except Mr. Wagner and Mr. Ender. Okay, thank you. Tina, roll call, please. Yes, Mr. Pisit. Yes. Mr. Santa Romita. Yes. Mr. Scobo. Yes. Mr. Ciccarelli. Yes. Mr. Ah! Lepon. Me. <laughs> Mr. Lapani. Yes. Mr. Delcor. Yes. Mr. Hestag. Yes. Mr. Julian. Still in the lost his face. <laughs> Neil's lost. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Neil's back. Yay. Yay, Neil. <laughs> Chairman Sarati. Yes. Okay. Uh, we do not have any planning board business, so next up will be business from the floor for matters not on the agenda. So if there's anybody on the Zoom meeting, you know, do the digital raise your hand if you like to comment on matters not on the agenda. Sure you mute everybody. Huh? Mute everybody now. Just tell everybody that's not here to mute themselves. Well, that's the panelists right now. I got it. Okay. I do not see any hands raised, so we will move on. Uh, there are no consideration of ordinances, so next up uh, we have our application this evening from the County of Somerset uh, below. Uh, file number 20-PB-06-SV. Um, <clears throat> it's block 169, lot 55, uh, commonly known as 506 Long Hill Road. The applicant is seeking a minor subdivision <coughs> approval and see both variances to subsidize, or subsidize, phew, subdivide approximately uh, <clears throat> just over 60 acres into two lots. Proposed lot 55.02 to contain approximately uh, just over 34 and a half acres with existing dwelling and improvements, and a proposed lot 55.03 to contain just over 26 acres to be added to the county's open space inventory as part of the 6,000 acre Sauerland Mountain Preserve uh, on, <clears throat> on property in the uh, MZ or Mountain Conservation District. So I believe uh, we do participating for the applicant is Frank Whittlesey and Thomas Pochino is the county principal planner. So with that, <clears throat> I will open it up to council. Mr. Whittlesey, I think I clicked for you to, let me, there you go. Hello? Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Chairman, thank you for having us. Um, my name is Frank Whittlesey. I'm appearing this evening on behalf of the County of Somerset, along with our uh, planner, Tom Chino, for this. Guys, group. I'm getting a lot of feedback. Carl, you need to mute yourself. Okay. If he's coming in from the public. Go ahead, Frank. Okay. Um, uh, as uh, you point out, Mr. Chairman, the county is looking to subdivide approximately 60 acres into two lots. Uh, one of those lots will be a approximately 26 acres of uh, undeveloped land with the intention that that property remain undeveloped in the future and become part of the Sauerland Mountain Preserve. Uh, that preserve is classified by the Somerset County Park Commission as an undeveloped natural area. It's defined as an area in its natural state, with some identified aesthetic and special environmental qualities. 
and the long-range proposal for this subdivision and acquisition by the county is to allow for passive recreation uses such as hiking and bird watching um, and as with most passive uses there are no structural improvements uh, at this time contemplated for the property only informal nature trails which may or may not be developed uh, in the future um, we have with us uh, Mr. Vicino who's going to speak to the two uh, bulk C variances that the county is asking for uh, from the board and at this time I'll turn that over to Mr. Vicino we can have him we'll also have him sworn thank you Everyone, uh, can everyone hear me, Mr. Bacino? Yes. Mr. Zipper, Bernstein, would you raise? Yes. Testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God. Yes, I do. Can you indicate to the board? Spell uh, your name. Spell your last name, and give us your qualifications. Certainly. Uh, Thomas Bocchino, B as in boy, O-C-C-I-N-O. -O. Uh, I am a licensed professional planner in the state of New Jersey, and I am also a licensed uh, professional landscape architect in the state of New Jersey. <clears throat> okay, if there's no objections from anyone on the dais. Nope. See a lot of head shaking, no, so we will accept your credentials. You may proceed. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Whittlesley gave the background on the property and the proposed uses. I'd I'm like sorry, Mr. Bacchino. Um, yes. Guys, I have a lot of feedback again. I'm going to try again. Go ahead. Okay. Is that better? Yes. Great. Great. Okay. So, uh, as Mr. Whittlesley said, I'll address. I will address the two uh, bulk variance requests uh, for the subdivision. Uh, the first bulk variance is for uh, no frontage on uh, an approved road, and as with past purchases with Somerset County. Uh, we have land within our inventory that is adjacent to this parcel, which does have frontage, so we would provide access to this property through uh, previously preserved land. Uh, so that would give us access to Shorn Lane to the north, and a recent acquisition would now allow us uh, access across county land to Long Hill Road uh, on a recently acquired property that uh, is just uh, west of the subject property. So we do believe that there would be access across those parcels. Uh, the second variance is that the existing residence uh, on proposed lot 55.02 does not meet the front yard setback. Uh, we are not proposing any changes to that. Uh, it is a pre-existing use, not conforming. And we are not proposing any changes to the property to remain with the seller. Uh, in addition, we are not proposing any uses or improvements on the, the parcel to pre be preserved by the county so we don't see any intensification of use. Uh, any questions? Board members online <clears throat> of the planning board members online you can hopefully you can unmute yourselves if you have any questions if not raise your virtual yep. hand I'm good no questions okay. okay mr. Bernstein doesn't look like we have any questions or discussion points here oh good mr. Delcourt uh, Tom hi it's Frank Delcourt um, could you just, for the benefit of um, so everyone's clear, some of the surrounding areas, um, are, are it, how much of what is 
is adjacent to this. Guys, I lost you. Hello? Hold on, Tina. Carl is muted now. No, no, I've been trying to mute myself. I don't. You there, Tina? Tina, you there? Yeah, um, Mr. Delcourt, yep, um, you were saying, can you just, for the benefit so everyone is clear, some of the surrounding. Okay. Can you hear me now, Tina? Hello? Tina, can you hear me? Keep talking, Tina. Yeah, guys, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. We can hear yeah. you. Can you hear us? We couldn't hear you. Can you hear us can now? Can you hear me now? Um, yeah, I, I got cut off when Mr. Delcourt uh, was asking a question yep. to clarify yep. about the surrounding something. So this is Frank. Can you hear me now, Tina? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So my question was if Mr. Bocino could give an idea of the surrounding properties um, uh, that are adjacent to this, how much of that is uh, is part of the preserve already, or is this essentially um, a standalone preserve location? Okay, I can clarify that certainly. Um, feedback. Guys, I'm getting feedback from Mr. Bocini. 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 <laughs> Should I continue? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I didn't know why Great. I was getting feedback. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so we have several lots, actually, that are adjacent to this property. We have um, a lot to the south, uh, lot 58, and we have several lots to the north. Uh, we have lots, we have lot 59, lot 36.05, 36.04, 36.03, and 37. And we also have the recently acquired lot 38. Those all surround this property. Um, and they are all part of the preserve. And actually lot 58 to the south was an isolated parcel uh, up until this up until this uh, application came along. Now, this parcel that we're proposing to subdivide will connect that um, non-adjacent parcel to the rest of the preserve. Uh, everything to the west is within Hunterdon County. Uh, there is actually quite a bit of preserved land on the Hunterdon County side as well that's been preserved by uh, New Jersey Conservation Foundation and DNR Greenway Land Trust, as well as the county and, and the township. Thank you. I was just hoping to get that on the record. This is actually kind of one of the missing puzzle pieces in the assemblage of the preserve in this area. So there, there is direct access to the south, to the north, and uh, about half of the property on the east side. Thank you. I just wanted that on the record. Appreciate it. I just want to, I just want to check on Tina. Did you just hear Frank's last comment? Yeah, well, Mr. Bocini was just talking. Okay. See, <clears throat> Jim, we can't unmute me because she's not hearing anyone on the dais. So I got to stay. Okay. Okay. Nope. That's <clears throat> okay. I, I just said thank you for putting that on the record. That was Frank. Okay. I got it. Okay, anyone else? Any comments, clarifications, questions? This is Sean. I just wanted to, for the record, that uh, this purchase was uh, also being funded 100% by county money and that the township was not asked to participate in any uh, funds to, to uh, buy this property. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, another. One more bite at the apple. Okay, hearing no comments. If there's anyone, I guess I need to. Uh, Eric, motion open to motion public. Motion open to public. Yes. Okay. Do I have a motion to open to public? Yes. Motion. Frank. That was Frank. Motion. Okay. Second. second. Okay. I have a motion. Two seconds. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, who made the motion and who seconded it? Mr. Delcor made the motion, Mr. Hashtag did the second. 
Mr. Peason came in the distant third on that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 There you go. If there's anybody on a Zoom meeting that would like to comment, please do a virtual raise your hand. I do not see any. <clears throat> so motion to close. I'll make that motion to close. Scobo. Thank you. Delcor second. Okay, motion is second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Mr. Bernstein, what's our next action or options? Your option, Mr. Chairman, is to approve or deny. Wait, 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 I will mute. Mr. Bernstein, you have feedback. I will mute myself now because he's on. Your option, Mr. Chairman, is to approve or deny the application, which is file 20 PB06 SF. Block 169, Lot 55, 506 Long Hill Road, approving the applicant's application, seeking the minor subdivision approval, and see both variances to subdivide approximately 60.654 acres into two lots, proposed Lot 5502, to contain approximately 34.583 acres with the existing dwelling improvements and proposed lot 55.03 to contain 26.071 acres to be added to the county's open space inventory as part of the 6,000 acre Sarawing Mountain Preserve in the Uzbeza district. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Whittlesey, any final comments? Uh, I no, forgot to no. ask you. Mr. Chairman, thank you. I think I think uh, you have all of the facts for you. There's there's not a lot here, uh, and we appreciate uh, your consideration. Okay, thank you. So, with that, um, do I have a motion to approve this application as per Mr. Bernstein's? Uh, I'll make that motion, Santa Romita. Okay. Is there a second? Scobo, second. Okay, Mr. Santa Romita, motion. Mr. Scobo, second. Any final comments from the dais? Okay, seeing none, may I have a roll call, please? Mr. Wagner? Yes. Mr. P Mr. Peason? Yes. Mr. Santa Romita? Yes. Mr. Scobo? Yes. Mr. Lapani? Yes. Mr. Delcor? Yes. Mr. Hestad? Yes. Mr. Julian? Yes. And Chairman Sirachi? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so with that, that ends applications for this evening. Just a reminder of our upcoming uh, meeting agenda or schedule. Um, we do seem to be holding for... Uh, a solar facility application on July 23rd. That's Mr. correct, Mr. Chairman. Tina, this is David. We, we will have an application from the county uh, on the 23rd for a solar facility at the old Army, Bellmead Army Depot. This is, I should point out, this is not a site plan application. By ordinance and by municipal land use law, the county is submitting their proposed uh, solar project for comment, for review and comment only. Okay, so they're just coming here for commentary. Correct. Okay, and currently we have no August meeting scheduled. So, and then that looks like that may take us into September, but we'll take a look at that on the 23rd. So, um, so with that, uh, we'll entertain a motion for adjournment. Even so moved. There you go. Scobo second. <laughs> okay, so we have a motion and a second. Roll call, please. Or it's all in favor. I'm not doing roll call. Yeah. Roll in favor. Aye. 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 Any nays? Aye. Ayes have it. We are adjourned. We will see everybody in a couple of weeks on the 23rd. Good night, everybody, and stay safe. Thank you. 805.